lie Pluridon. At 150 tons, it is the largest and most powerful carnivore ever to live on the planet. This male measures a colossal 25 meters and is big even for his kind. His size means he is probably over a hundred years old. He too detected the mother's distress from a distance. Lyploridon has a directional sense of smell. Two separate chambers in his nose work in the same way as a pair of ears, pinpointing exactly where a smell is coming from. A sophisticated tracking device, steering the largest carnivorous jaws ever known. Each one of Lyploridon's four flippers is over three meters long, giving him enough power to guide his huge bulk effortlessly through the water. The Lyploridon is an expert at ambush. He takes one giant gulp of air then descends to hide in the depths. There he can hold his breath for over an hour. Unexpectedly, a female Lyploridon arrives on the scene. This, the bull will not tolerate. Lyploridon are fiercely territorial about their hunting areas, and confrontations almost always end in violence. The female is forced to leave the area, badly ripped by the male's tusk-like teeth, attracting sharks that follow her trail of blood. Old Lyploridon, disorientated in the murky waters, has ended up stranded on an island beach. As the beachcombers start to gather, they are wary. While the giant is still alive, his enormous jaws are lethal. But they can afford to bide their time. The carnivore's own 150-ton body is slowly suffocating him. The Lyploridon's life has now ebbed away. The mightiest carnivore the world has ever seen. The Jurassic is a golden period for giant marine reptiles. It will be another 90 million years before they disappear from the oceans, along with the extinction of the dinosaurs on land. Just as I thought, it's a Lyploridon. Look at those flippers, it's really, it's not moving a fin, it must be dead now. We've scared it. It's disappearing into the murk, Pete. <laughs> these reptiles, they're very, very curious about the squid. See the release of the chemical there? Absolutely no effect at all. You'd have had your head bitten off if you'd been wearing that. And let's see what happens here. There's still squid on the dummy. They know it's not a danger to them. Here they come. Here come the Lyploridon. See that? The putrescine's released. Another one comes in, mouth open, just gives it a whack. I hope it doesn't whack me like that. But hopefully that will give me some protection when I go in with the adults. Well, I am so glad the film camera's in. Nobody would believe me back at home.
has a cracking view of those teeth. They are so distinctive. That rosette of really sharp teeth at the front of the jaws there. They are like knife blades. They are piling into that fish carcass, slicing through the flesh of that leading piece. And that short neck, that helps them too to be more powerful. That's why they can twist off those chunks of flesh. going to do, they're not paying any attention to me, that food is really keeping them occupied. So I think I can take a calculated risk if they do go for that. I have just 20 ferocious sea reptiles, but I am petrified watching this. That was the second most dangerous sea, which means time to enter Hell's Aquarium, the most dangerous sea ever. It's just a short hop forwards from the Jurassic to 75 million years BC, not long before a massive.